to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, want you to come and play. Meeting all the friends we cook for, sharing stories, trips and fun. Big cook, little cook, we'll cook for everyone. Hello, welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. I'm guarding the last biscuit. I'm saving it for a snack later. But Jen is after it too. You see, Jen is brilliant at disguises. I'm worried she's going to sneak up and pinch it without me noticing. Hmm, I have to be very careful. She could be anywhere. Huh? What was that noise? <gasps> Did you see anything? All I can see is my spoon. If my spoon is over there, then maybe Jen is over here. Oh, but hang on. If my spoon is over here, then... <gasps> you're not a spoon, you're Jen. Step away from the biscuit. <laughs> That's a very good disguise. <laughs> I nearly fooled you. Best luck next time. Do you like my costume? I'm going to go and change out of it. Yes. I wish I had a brilliant disguise like yours, Jen. I'm back. That was quite a stir. <laughs> We've got a customer. I wonder if they're any good at disguises. <laughs> I'm off with a whiz to see who it is. <laughs> Who's in our cafe today, Small? Give us a clue. See if you can guess too. Oh, it's three little creatures with horns and beards. They eat grass and they say, ba, ba. Do they have little goaty beards? Do you know who it is? Is it the three billy goats gruff? Yes, Jen. They've trip trapped into our cafe for something to eat. We should cook something marvellous for them. <laughs> I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. Once there were three Billy Goats gruff. A big Billy Goat, a middle-sized Billy Goat and a small Billy Goat. They lived by a stream. Each day, they would trip trap over the bridge to get to the green field on the other side, where they would eat the most delicious grass. A friendly troll lived under the bridge and waved whenever he saw them. Hello, Billy Goats, he would say. The bridge is safe to cross. But one day, there was a rainy storm. When the three Billy Goats <gasps> Gruff went to cross the stream, they found that the bridge had disappeared. The troll popped up, looking oh. very worried. It's not safe to cross today, he said. The bridge has been washed away in the storm. The three Billy Goats Gruff didn't know what to do. How will we ever get to our green field? They bleated. Luckily, I was flying by on my spoon and I zoomed down to help. The billy goats needed a new bridge, but I didn't know where to find one. I looked up to the sky and saw the sun peeping out from behind the rain clouds. Then, as if by magic, a rainbow appeared over the stream. How did that happen? asked the billy goats. Rainbows often appear when it's rainy and sunny at the same time, I told them. Suddenly, I had one of my brilliant ideas. The rainbow is just the right shape for a bridge. So I tapped it with my magic spoon. Here you go. Some rainbows fade away, but now this one will stay forever. And so the Billy Goats had a magical new bridge. They would trip trap over it every day waving to the troll before visiting their favourite field full of delicious green grass. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Yes, 
What a wonderful rainbow bridge. The billy goats must be hungry after trip trapping over it. What can we cook for them? Hmm, something nibbly and nice that they can all share. Yes, we need to do some serious thinking. Book. Of course, the big cookery book. There are recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's book. <laughs> what about this? A veggie bow bridge. It looks just like the rainbow bridge in the story. And it's served with a scrummy hummus dip. The billy goats will love it. Can you read out the ingredients, Small? Coming up, Jan. To make our veggie bow bridge, we need lots of colourful vegetables. A red pepper, a carrot, a yellow pepper, a cucumber and radishes. Great, we've got all those. And to make the hummus, we need chickpeas, tahini, olive oil and finally garlic. Uh-oh, we haven't got any garlic. That's OK. I can whiz off and get some. And I'll get everything ready. Why don't you come along too? <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> go small, go small, whiz away! Whee! I wonder what she'll see today. And I think I can smell garlic. Where's the garlic? Oh, it's growing in this field. There it is. Garlic grows below the ground. And its leaves stretch up into the air. This big tractor is pulling a machine to pick the garlic from the ground. Look, it's digging into the soil and lifting up the garlic bulbs. Whee! Take off the leaves. Then the machine shakes the mud and soil off. The garlic is going into this huge bag. Some of it is left behind, so it's picked up and put into the bag with the others. A lot of delicious garlic is being picked today. Look at all the hairy roots! It's kept nice and dry in these boxes to make it last longer. Lovely scrummy garlic ready to put in our recipe. I wonder what's going on here? Those are big garlic bulbs. This lady is bunching up the garlic and then plaiting them together just like plaits in long hair. The garlic can then be hung up. What a great job! That was so interesting. Let's take the garlic back for our recipe. I'll see you at the cafe. <laughs> Woohoo! in disguise pinching that biscuit again, is she? No, Small. I was under the counter looking for a bowl. Your biscuit is safe. For now. <laughs> I've got everything ready. Did you get the garlic? Yes, a delicious smelling one. Brilliant. We have everything we need. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Honey pots and hedgehog rolls, starry breakfast skies, robot cake and power shake, and sunflower surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. She is big cook and she is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets so rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have 
Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients for Veggie Bow Bridge? Let's check. We need chickpeas, one tin drained, tahini, one tablespoon, olive oil, two tablespoons, a rainbow of raw vegetables. You need a colourful selection. Make sure you've washed them well. I've chopped them up into different shapes. And finally, garlic. One clove, crushed. That's everything. Let's get started. First, we need to make the hummus. It's a very tasty chickpea dip. I want to be good at disguises like Jen. I'm going to try and fool her. <laughs> Tip the chickpeas into a blender. Then add the olive oil, tahini and garlic. Is that you, Small? Ooh, I'm not small. I'm a wibbly wobbly bottle. Wibble wobble. Oh, frizzle my fritters. I lost my lid. <laughs> I can see that it's you, Small. To make a good disguise, you have to look very different from yourself. OK, I'll try something different. <laughs> Ask your grown-up helper to do this bit, as it can get whizzy and noisy. <laughs> Keep it down, Jen. <sighs> Sorry, Small. <laughs> to give your hummus a good texture, you can add a bit of water. About two tablespoons should be enough. Let's whiz again. Woo! Oh, Small, you're back. I'm not small. I'm a tree. Ooh. Oh, noodles. I'm losing all of my leaves. Maybe it's autumn. <laughs> Very funny, Jen. I was trying to blend in while you were blending. Oh, being in disguise is more difficult than I thought. Oh. Ooh. Keep working on it. <laughs> She'll never find a disguise to fool me. <laughs> Once the hummus is blended, pour it into a bowl for serving. This is the perfect, smooth, creamy texture. It smells lovely too. Now, choose your favourite raw vegetables. You need lots of different colours. Small, do you know the colours of the rainbow? I do! <laughs> Let me see, there's red. We're using red pepper. They're red, like the hatch doors of our cafe. <laughs> Let's put them around the plate, on the outside, quite close together. That's the first colour of the rainbow. I'm having a dance with my crayon and it's orange. <laughs> We're using carrots. Orange is the next colour of the rainbow, <gasps> like Jen's top. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, hmm. Let's put these tucked in quite close to the red peppers. <gasps> I'm playing tennis with my crayon and it's... Yes, yellow! <laughs> yellow pepper. This is a bright colour, like the colour of the sun and the colour of your top. Round they go. Snug up to the carrots. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> I'm playing guitar with my crayon and it's green. Cucumber. <laughs> These are bright and fresh. The same colour as peas, frogs and courgettes. Can you think of any other green things? There. Now, what colour is next in our rainbow? Hmm. Oh, I know. It's blue, just like my dungarees. And blue like my headband. <laughs> hmm. There aren't any blue vegetables, but we're serving on a blue plate instead. Indigo and violet. They're a sort of purple. So we'll use lovely radishes. Radishes are nice and crunchy. 
perfect for dipping into our hummus. Small, are you cold? You've got your woolly hat on and your arms look frozen. I'm not small and this isn't a hat. I'm a teapot. <laughs> I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When the tea is ready, hear me shout. Tip me up and pour me out. <laughs> Come on, Jen, let's sing it again together. Why don't you join in too? <laughs> I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When the tea is ready, hear me shout. Tip me up and pour me out. <laughs> oh, it's no use. I make a terrible teapot. I'm no good at disguises. Oh. Our rainbow is ready for dipping. <gasps> it's so colourful, Jen. I love rainbows. The billy goat's gruff will think that dish is marvellous. <laughs> One veggie bow bridge with hummus dip coming through. There, all done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! <laughs> Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam <laughs> My name's Jen And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while Jen? <laughs> Small? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the billy goats gruff are finished. They've snaffled the lot. And they've left us a note. <laughs> what does it say? What does it say? Let's see. It says, Dear Big Cook Jen and Little Cook Small, our veggie bow bridge was perfect for eating and bleating. <laughs> to say thank you, here's something to help with your disguise. Love, the billy goat's gruff. <gasps> They've left us a little goaty beard. <laughs> huh? It's gone. Have you seen it, Small? Small? Small's gone too. There's nothing here, apart from one of my garden gnomes doing a bit of fishing. Something fishy's going on. <laughs> Hang on, that's not a gnome. <sighs> and that's our biscuit. <laughs> Great disguise, Small. Fooled you, Jen. <laughs> you really did. <laughs> Shall we share it? Yes, please. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>